Welcome to HECA 2 exam practice test. Our topic today is mathematics. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Change 38% to decimal. A 3.8. B 0.038. C 38.0. D 0.38. The correct answer is D0.38. Explanation. To solve this problem, you must know how to convert percentages into decimals. This is done by shifting the decimal point two places to the right. This operation is the same as dividing the percentage by 100. In this problem, assume that the decimal is after the 8 and 38%. The equivalent decimal, then, is 0.38. Number 2. Change 17.6% to decimal. A 17.6. B 1.76. C 0.176. D 0.0176. The correct answer is C 0.176. Explanation. This problem requires you to understand the conversion of percentages into decimals. A percentage is an amount out of 100, 17.6%, then, is equivalent to 17.6 out of 100. A percentage can be converted into decimal form by dividing it by 100, or, more simply, by shifting the decimal point two places to the left. Therefore, 17.6% is equivalent to 0.176. Number 3. Change 126% to decimal. A 126.0. B 0.0126 C 0.126 D 1.26 The answer is D 1.26 Explanation To solve this problem, you must know how to convert percentages into decimals. Remember that a percentage is really just an expression of a value in terms of hundredths. That is, 126% is the same as 126 out of 100. To convert a percentage into a decimal, shift the decimal point two places to the left. In this case, the decimal point is assumed to be after the 6 in 126%. By shifting the decimal point two places to the left, you find that the equivalent decimal is 1.26. Number 4. Change the fraction 2 ninths to percent. Round to the nearest whole number. A 20%, B 21%, C 22%, D 23%. The correct answer is 22%. Explanation. This problem requires you to understand how to convert fractions into percentages. To do so, divide the numerator by the denominator. This requires placing a decimal point and zero after the two. Remember that the instructions ask you to round your quotient to the nearest whole number. The quotient will be an endlessly repeating 0.2, which means that you will round down to 22%. You only need to solve this equation to the thousandths place in order to obtain sufficient information to answer the question. Number 5. Change the fraction 9 thirteenths to percent. Round to the nearest whole number. A 33%. B 69%. C 72%. D 78%. The correct answer is B 69%. Explanation. To solve this problem, you must know how to convert fractions into percentages. This is done by dividing the numerator by the denominator. You will have to express 9 as 9.0. Since 13 will go into 96 times, you can place a 6 above the 0 in 9.0. Remember that your quotient will have a decimal point in the identical place, that is, directly to the left of the 6. If you continue your calculations, you will derive an answer of 0.6923. Take the resulting quotient, 0.69, and convert it into a percentage by multiplying it by 100, or simply shifting the decimal point two places to the right. However, once you derive that first 6, you should be able to select the correct answer choice. Remember that percentage is the same as hundredths, in other words, 69% is the same as 69 hundredths. Number 6. What is 17 out of 68, as a percent? Round to the nearest whole number. A 17%. B 25%. 
C 32%, D 68%. The correct answer is B 25%. Explanation. This problem requires you to understand how to convert fractions into percentages. One way to make this conversion is to divide 17 by 68, which will create a decimal quotient, and then convert this decimal into a percentage. The procedure for division is simply divide the numerator 17 by the denominator 68. You will have to express 17 as 17.0. Take the resulting quotient, 0.25, and convert it into a percentage by multiplying it by 100, or simply shifting the decimal point two places to the right. Of course, you may skip this last step if your quotient makes the right answer apparent. In this problem, a quotient of 0.25 suggests that only choice 25% can be correct. Number 7. Gerald made 13 out of the 22 shots he took in the basketball game. What was his shooting percentage? Round to the nearest percentage point. A 13%. B 22%. C 59%. D 67%. The correct answer is C 59%. Explanation. To solve this problem, you must know how to convert a fraction into a percentage. Gerald made 13 out of 22 shots, a performance that can also be expressed by the fraction 13 20 seconds. The procedure for division is divide the numerator by the denominator. Once you derive the initial 5 in the quotient, you can be fairly certain that answer 59% is correct. Whenever possible, try to take these kinds of shortcuts to save yourself some time. Although the HESI exam gives you plenty of time to complete all of the questions, by saving a little time here and there you can give yourself more opportunities to work through the harder problems. Number 8. Round to the nearest whole number. What is 18% of 600? A 108. B 76. C 254. D 176. The correct answer is A108. Explanation. This problem requires you to understand how to find equivalences involving percentages. One way to solve this problem is to set up the equation 18 over 100 equals x over 600. In words, this equation states that 18 out of 100 is equal to some unknown amount out of 600. The first step in solving such an equation is to cross multiply, in other words, 18 multiplied by 600 is equal to 100 multiplied by x. This produces 10,800 is equal to 100 multiplied by x, a problem that can be solved for x by dividing both sides by 100. This calculation shows that x is equal to 108, meaning that 108 is 18% of 600. Number 9. What is 6.4% of 32? Round to the tenths place. A 1.8. B 2.1. C 2.6. D 2.0. The correct answer is D 2.0. Explanation. To solve this problem, you must know how to find equivalences involving percentages. To begin with, set up the following equation. 6.4 divided by 100 is equal to x divided by 32. Next, cross multiply, 6.4 multiplied by 32 is equal to x multiplied by 100. This produces? 204.8 is equal to 100 multiplied by x, which is solved for x, by dividing both sides of the equation by 100. The value of x is 2.048, which is rounded to 2.0. Number 10. What is the numerical value of the Roman number written as xvii? A22. B17. C48. D57. The correct answer is B17. Explanation. This problem requires you to know about Roman numerals. This system of numeration is still used in a number of professional contexts. The Roman numerals are as follows. I is 1, V is 5, X is 10, L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, and M is 1000. You may also see the lowercase versions of these letters used. The order of the numerals is typically largest to smallest. If the number had been written as XVII, it would represent 17. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.